Welcome to the Uncle Rudy Cancer Weekly Roundup. Out on JCO Trophy U01, the results from this study supported accelerated approval of sazituzumab govitican in this population. Sazituzumab govitican is an active drug with a manageable safety profile with the most common toxicities being neutropenia and diarrhea. Notable efficacy compared with historical controls in pretreated metastatic bladder cancer. Also in JCO, the final analysis of the Titan prostate study confirmed that despite crossover, apalutamide plus ADT improved OS, delayed crustacean resistance, maintained health-related quality of life, and had a consistent safety profile in broad population of patients with metastatic crustacean-sensitive prostate cancer. Scientific statements from the American Heart Society, impact of hormonal therapies for treatments of hormone-dependent cancers on the cardiovascular system. Review of cost-effectiveness of immune checkpoint inhibitors in kidney cancer finds some cost-effective compared to other treatments. Out on the Journal of Thoracic Oncology online debate over first-line lorlatinib over out non-small cell lung cancer. On co-aligns, black women disproportionately develop aggressive ER positive tumors. Oncotype DX incompletely defines prognosis in these women, and genomic prognosis may require recalibration for racial and ethnic minority groups. We are officially one month away from ASCO 21. The network proudly congratulates our colleague, Dr. Schwery, on what will no doubt be an amazing plenary presentation. Looking forward to some great presentations at ASCO 21 by some amazing patient advocate colleagues. A reminder to our patient advocate colleagues that there is no cost to patient advocates who want to register for ASCO 21. However, it does require staff approval, so contact ASCO today if you want to participate. And in the roundup with our upcoming podcast on GU Oncology, covering the results of Titan Trophy U01, available tomorrow, May 4th, on Apple Podcasts on Spotify. That's it, folks, your weekly roundup. See you next week.